We are in Copenhagen for a small uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 preview event where we've been playing, trying some of the multiplayer scenes on the single player. Activision were kind enough to let us invite some Game Reactor readers to come try the demo, so all the guys playing behind me right now are from, you know, Game Reactor, like you maybe, which is cool. You don't want to hear me talk, you guys want to play. <laughs> Alright, so guys, uh, find a station and uh, let's get going. Let's go. Okay. Alright. The game type they're playing right now is called Hardpoint, which is your basic king of the hill, where teams are fighting over a certain control point that moves around the air map all the time. Treyarch being Treyarch, obviously there's a small twist to it, so they're actually fighting in teams of three versus three versus three. Three team uh, king of the hill. Um, and that's pretty telling for what Treyarch is doing with Black Ops 2 multiplayer. I actually enjoyed it very much. It was yeah. it's really funny. You're su you sound surprised. Yeah, because I was like, you know, it's Black Ops 2, it's like a generic Call of Duty game, but it has like some diversity, some of the other games, so I think it was actually pretty fun. What was your favorite part? Um, it was the first part where we played uh, three teams of three, um, and uh, I didn't, I think it was just like that much kind of thing, but the, the second uh, one we played was where we had to c capture points, and I had to like force all teams like to narrow points, and that was like, that was pretty fun too. Bottleneck, but fun. Other classic and fan favorite Call of Duty game types are returning. Kill Confirmed is back, which is cool, and also supports 3 versus 3 versus 3. We've also played some Domination, where you fight over 3 control points. Obviously, that doesn't support 3 teams, but you know who cares? It's fun either way. It's uh, very cool. Yeah. Very cool, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. All my expectations are lived up. It's great. You usually a Call of Duty fan? Oh yeah, I am. A lot. So what was your favorite part of this? Uh, I think the free part, uh, the free team part, is cool. Like uh, smaller teams and uh, more teams, it's mm -hmm. a pretty cool feature. One of the central elements of Black Ops 2 multiplayer is what Treyarch is calling Pick 10, where you have 10 options pretty much for what you want to carry as guns, as attachments, as perks. You pick 10 out of the entire list. So if you don't want to do two perks and then carry more attachments, you can do that. There's also something called wild cards, which lets you do stuff like carry two primary weapons instead of a secondary weapon. Um, or attach even more perks or attachments to your gun, stuff like that. Uh, I think it's great fun. It's uh, fast paced, paced like a uh, Call of Duty is, and um, a lot of uh, nice futur futuristic locations. Sure. What's your favorite part about the demo? Uh, I think it uh, has to be the hard point yeah. uh, with three teams. It was um, great fun, and uh, a lot of uh, because of the small teams, uh, a lot of options for tactical gameplay. Um, what class build did you go with? Uh, something with guns and a lot of explosives. <laughs> now, if you play Black Ops 1, you're familiar with COD points, the sort of currency you earn for killing and doing you know, stuff that make you win the game. Those are gone now. Instead, when you level up, you get an unlock token, which you can then use to purchase one of the many unlocks that become available to you as you progress through the game. Um, but even though COD points are gone, all the old wager game types are still here. They're in something new called party mode, but, you know, Gun game, uh, one in the chamber, those game types are still here, they're back. They're also changing prestige this time around. There are 55 levels in total, 10 prestige levels. When you prestige, you keep all your weapon XP. That means you keep all the guns you've unlocked. Um, but if you're up for a challenge, you want to you know, start from zero again with all the gun unlocks, you can. There's an option for actually refunding all those XP's and you can use them and funnel them into something else. But even with all the new stuff Trey was doing, um, this is still very much Call of Duty. So, you know, if you're a Call of Duty fan, you're going to enjoy it. I actually think from my impressions here so far, this seems more fun than the old Modern Warfare 3, which to me, and that's personal opinion, felt a little bit stale. But let's not get caught up into that. If you're a Call of Duty fan, you're going to love this. If you're a Call of Duty liker, you're probably going to like this as well. Did you kick ass and take names? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you sucked. No, I tried. Oh. I, was, I was not the baddest one. So did, did, did that work for you? Did you win? Not at all. <laughs> did you win? Uh, not at the beginning, no. <laughs> I was not <laughs> one of the best players. And not at the end, too, as I think I thought that. My team won, though. <laughs> okay. But I didn't. I, I, just was, I was just like a free, freeloader. Yeah.